I used to see him in the gym, knocking people out, knocking guys out. Bah! against Henry Tillman. Quick further word about Tyson, just extraordinary punching power. The upper body strength evident as you merely look at him. The upper arms enormous. The boxing skills perhaps developing, but certainly relatively minimal at this point in time. After all, just 17, but a superb teacher in custom auto. Henry Tillman, on the other hand, is an experienced fighter with a good left jab. Does not have a lot of punching power for the size and weight, but he moves well for a heavyweight. Excellent foot movement. And in this fight, as we begin the action, Tyson will have, I think, some greater difficulty in reaching him, though he goes with that right lead right there than he had against Milligan, the young man from Princeton University, whom he finally caught in the second round and did away with. First round action, and you see Tillman quickly moving on his toes. See that? Usually you get less and less movement as you get into the higher weights. And we saw very little movement in the Womack bout against his opponent, Benny Hurd. But here you're seeing Tillman move. The expectable strategy to avoid the thunderous power of Tyson. Third man in the ring in this bout is Jerry Dusenberry. Another of the accomplished officials I've discussed. He will not, however, be one of the four going to L.A. to work. First round action. You've got to do for three sustained rounds what Tillman is doing right now to stay alive against this young man. That much can be said. An enormous punch. He can paralyze you with a blow to the belly if he connects. Gilman well aware of that power. Seeking to score with the left jab and get out of there. Move, move and keep scoring as he did right there and right there. That's what Tyson wanted. He got him against the ropes and down he went. At, that, at him when he made that prediction about Floyd Patterson. As you've seen, the background awfully similar to Floyd. Different sections of the same borough, Brooklyn. So we have had one knockdown, and we're still in the first round coming to the end of it. But remember, the knockdown in scoring counts for no more than a good, clean jab, and Tillman's landed a lot of those. We're going to stay. We'll go to Mike Tyson in his corner. Putting a quick bat on the left ear. From his handler, Kevin Rooney, let me make it clear, Custom Auto does not work the corner. Cuss is in his mid-70s now, and you heard the magnificent thing he said about Mike Tyson. He said, this young man motivates the continuance of my life. He's what I live for now. And you look at the replay, the right got in, and then another right and Tillman started to buckle, and the third right was what put him down between 
the bottom and middle strand of the strands of rope. The bell for round two. Just keep the jab in his face, the handlers told Mike Tyson. Tillman quickly again on his toes. Moving, 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 usually to the left. When you see a big man move, inevitably, you think back to the heavyweight like no other ever in history in terms of foot speed and, for that matter, hand speed. The name is Muhammad Ali. in learning survival. He has been knocked down by DeWitt, the big Canadian heavyweight favored for the Olympic gold by many. He was knocked down, as I said, by DeWitt, but then came back. And in the next meeting and lost to Tuffy, three to two to DeWitt. closely. Tillman is fighting very cleverly in this round thus far and effectively. He's scoring with that left. He's continually moving and young Tyson, only 17, is having trouble deciphering. Well, Tillman right there. Scored three blows and then a fourth. And Mike relying on that wild lunging right. <laughs> Inside the final minute of the round, Dyson desperately trying to get to Tillman, having clawed him once in the first round. His aim for the referee to stop the contest. But he's got to score to do it. He's got to knock the opponent down to a point where he can't get up. He must rely on the knockout because Tillman is building up points very clearly in this round. Points by a huge margin, at least in my opinion. has fought a very intelligent round, knowing the opponent's strengths and his vulnerabilities. The final round, it is conceivable that the bout could hinge on this round. Tyson scored his knockdown in the first round. That by itself wouldn't win the round for him. It was a close round. Second round was overwhelmingly tilted. So, in the corner, they told Tyson, get him into a corner, get him against the ropes. You've got to have a big round. You've got to pour it on him. Easier said than done when you're against a more experienced fighter with much better foot movement. Still, there is that stunning power of young Tyson. But as I have mentioned several times, you go into a tournament like this, you must go in as a boxer. You can't just look for the knockout. There's Tillman flicking that left again. It is conceivable, based upon the box-off procedure that I described at the very top of our telecast, that these two could meet again on July 6th. It is conceivable. Remember, the most noteworthy opponent is selected by a duly appointed board. Coach Pat Nappy is one member and a very influential one of that board as Tillman keeps working the left. And 
Tyson has not been able to do what Kevin Rooney in his corner asked him to do. Get him against the ropes or get him in a corner and bang him. Yeah, right there he's trying. Tillman covering. Tyson has very little time left. Inside of 50 seconds, now left to go. Tyson scoring there with a right. In the last 30 seconds, he is suddenly connected. Not once, but several times. But look, he keeps his distance from Tillman, and he'll never knock him out that way, as Tillman just keeps working the left, using the ring, covering well left, fighting back against Tyson's attempted onslaught. And we're near the end of the fight. So there will be no knockout by young Mike Tyson in this fight, though there was a first round knockdown. The bell. And it should go to Tillman easily. In the meantime, don't forget this coming Saturday from the famed Wingfoot Golf Club in Mamaroneck, New York, maybe the most prestigious golf title of them all, the U.S. Open. And Jack Nicholas, I am told, has shot 64 and 69 at two practice rounds. And Be with us. The decision. Henry of course, exactly what you had to expect. After a tough first round, that might have been given to Tyson. Tillman was clearly superior in the next two rounds. It was an unanimous decision, and the scoring was close in each and every judge's card. But it was unanimously and properly for Tillman. I said they might meet again in the box off, so they might. Tyson continues to improve as a fighter. Coming up, super heavyweights Terrell Biggs against Payne will be... I thought deservedly, but Michael Tyson under the teaching of Customato. You remember Customato, the manager of Floyd Patterson? Michael Tyson developing with enormous rapidity and a pulverizing punch. That's what Tillman has to avoid. He succeeded in Fort Worth, but will he be able to succeed tonight? And I spoke with both men before the fight. Let's meet them. We have no concern about the knockout. The man does have a sledgehammer punch. Well, yeah, my point of view on that, if you stand there and let a guy hit you and plant and put an X on your jaw and haul off and sock you, of course he's going to knock you out. I'd knock somebody out if they stand there and let me punch him. But if you're moving and taking his leverage off the punches with my jab and keeping it from setting, it's going to be very hard for him to knock me out. Okay. Good luck to you. All right. Thank you, all. I don't feel that he can improve much because everything that he knows now is going to take him through the pros and wherever he's going to go, where I'm continually improving, improving myself. And I improved myself on cutting the ring down a lot, and I look forward, forward to a victory here. Okay. Met both fighters. Heard from them. Now, the tale of the day. Tyson just turned 18. Tillman, the taller man with the apparently big reach edge. But Tyson comes at you. He's been skillfully taught by Customato. While he looks raw, he actually is very effective at slipping punches when you think he's no boxer. The third man in the ring, by the way, is Elmo Adolph from New Orleans, Louisiana. The five judges at ringside, Paul Connor from Milwaukee, Ed Urbic from Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, John Hollis from St. Louis, Marco Safaras from L.A., and Carmen Williamson from Toledo. The action begins. And quickly, Tillman goes to the familiar role. Steady movement. Try and use the jab and keep Tyson off you. 
He was knocked down in the first round. Tillman was by Tyson and Fort Worth on June the 10th. Came back to win the fight. Someone in the crowd yelling, cut him off, Michael. You heard Tyson say that's exactly what he wants to do, plans to do, if he can do it. Tillman will keep using that jab, get it in there, score, and get out in a hurry, if he can. Very basic boxing. Thus far, it's been almost a replay of the first fight between the two, except that from nowhere, Tyson got to Tillman in the first round. One can see Tyson developing from fight to fight as a boxer, I mean. No longer awkward. Flat-footed, he's not fast, no question about that. He doesn't have the body to be fast, but he's not ponderous either. Coming to the end of round one. You watch Tyson fight, and there's an air of expectancy. When will he connect? And then what happens if he does? How is he at finishing a fight? Couldn't do it in the first fight. But he's got a succession of knockouts as an amateur. First round ends, we'll be back. There you see Mike Tyson, the bell for the second round. Elmo Adolph, the referee. First round, I think, fought to Tillman's pace and plan. scoring being done really by either fighter. Gilman not willing to take any chances. Tyson desperate to get in there. Tomato feels that the amateur judges have not been fair to his fighter. He thought Tyson won the last time around against Tillman. He's entitled to his opinion, of course. But Tillman won an unanimous decision. And one is always very subjective about one's fighter. Hardly setting a high mark in Thank <laughs> you. 
Price in this. He's trying to force the action. But there you saw Tillman get in a couple of blows and then out. This won't be too easy a fight to score either. Unless something dramatic happens. All right, we go over to Mike Tyson's corner. Gus Camano, by the way, does not work the corner. Gus is 76 years old now. He's the legal guardian of that young man. And the young man is really his life. It's as simple as that. This ABC Sports exclusive is being brought to you by Lotus, makers of one, two, three, and Symphony Software. By Rust Rustoli, the paint for method. When the elements come, be ready with this Terrell Biggs. He's getting ready. He doesn't seem the same Terrell Biggs to me. He's been complaining of pains in his ribs. We'll be talking with him. You'll get the story directly from him. He hasn't sparred for a long number of weeks. And I don't know. He just doesn't seem to be up mentally or physically. Maybe he'll be different in the ring. Round three. Let's see what Tyson can do. Touch wild there. No more laid off cautioning Tyson, as you saw. Back to the action. I'd like to seize a moment, if I may. Bruno Alice, president of ABC News and Sports, had recent minor surgery, is recovering very swiftly, will be back on the job next week. And uh, on behalf of his many minions posted everywhere, we should like to wish him very well in Right by Tyson. Finally, finally he got that in there. And Tillman felt it and he will stay away. Didn't come until the third round. Tillman knows this is no time for him to make a mistake. However, Tillman has not fought nearly as effectively as he did in Fort Worth. I don't think. So little scoring by either party. Fight clearly forced in terms of aggressiveness, but that doesn't count in amateur boxing. It does count in professional boxing scoring. Aggressive. down to the end of the fight and Tyson would so like to get in there and score okay that's it follow Mike Tyson to his corner and I think he's got a better shot at winning this fight by far than he had the last time around. We'll be back with more coverage of the Olympic box offs after this ABC promo and a word from our local stations. Okay. The winner in the heavyweight division 
and an established member of the 1984 Olympic team from Los Angeles, California, in the red corner, Henry Tillman. So they gave it to Henry Tillman, obviously on the basis of more apparent style and class. The aggressor was Mike Tyson, but as I explained, aggressiveness in amateur boxing is not rewarded with points. What is rewarded 